And welcome to part two of the Bosch Drill Repair. Assembling the lithium batteries into the battery pack. This is the balance IC that's used on the board. There are two of them fitted to the board. It's a HY2213 balance IC. And you can see you've got two inputs, VDD, VSS, and one output. Circuit tries to maintain a set voltage across these two pins by driving the output, which will connect to your FET. If we move down to the circuit, here we can see we have a input resistor to VDD, a decoupling capacitor to smooth out any fluctuations in voltage. That line is directly across the battery. It's measuring the voltage from VSS to the battery and VDD via the resistor to the battery and effectively turning on this FET and putting this load across the battery to bypass the charging current we're coming down here and it's going to bypass that cell through this one and so if you're only having a single a two cell battery then of course that's your ground going to the charger and this just shows how you can connect up multiple batteries now if i look at the board this is the board there's the battery connections b minus battery middle b plus these two resistors are the bypass resistors for the for the battery cells which are switched in by these two FETs. These are the balance ICs and there's the capacitor, the resistor here. So that's what makes up the balance circuit or the balancer circuit. The circuit board has a BB3A device fitted. So the overcharge detect voltage will be 4.2 volts plus or minus 0.025 and it will release at 4.19 plus or minus 35 millivolts so that's what the chip's going to do you know, when you get to 4.2 volts it's going to turn the FET on to start shunting the charge current away from the battery via the resistor and the resistor will start to get hot and that's what that's all its job is it's to shunt the power away from the battery so effectively the battery gets held at 4.2 volts. This is part of the circuit that detects the overcharge and over discharge in voltage and current. The batteries are sensed but lower battery is compared between VCC and VSS so the upper battery is compared between VDD and VC and there are the values taken from the data sheet it will detect an overcharge when the battery cell reaches 4.28 sorry it's 4.26 can't read my own type it will go into over discharge protection when the voltage drops below 2.9 if the voltage goes above 2.6 then the overcharge line goes low turning off these two FETs so the current supply coming in flowing down through the batteries is then blocked by the diodes in the FETs and effectively breaks the current. And it's the same with the over discharge. If the over discharge, if the voltage drops below 2.9 volts, then the over discharge line goes low, switching these two FETs off. So effectively the current is blocked by the diodes in the FETs. And in normal operation, these two are both high, therefore all the FETs are turned on and the current can flow in either direction, so charging and discharging. Over current in discharge and charge is controlled by these two resistors and the chip measures the voltage difference between VSS and the CS input. And there are the limits, 300 millivolts for overcurrent in discharge and 210 in charge. Now the snag here is we have 5 milliohm resistors in parallel giving us effectively 2.5 milliohms. Now 
210 millivolts across 2.5 milliohms is about 80 amps so uh, eight times what the uh, <laughs> the board sellers claim they they claim it will cut out at 10 amps whereas in reality it should cut out at 80 amps unless there is some extra volt drop in the wires in the tracks but there could well be but uh, I'm not going to measure it I'm just going to think well I don't think that's going to work it's not going to be sensitive they're not sensible values so that's about it and it's slightly different from how the data sheet shows it this is the way they've decided to implement it this is a quick overview of the board charge FETs discharge FETs two current sense resistors there's the little resistor that's going up to the CS input and there's the charge discharge controller so there we have it well this is the assembly of the board uh, well not assembly of the board the assembly of the board to the batteries uh, I'll keep it short I'll speed it up I'll play a bit of music because you don't want to sit here and see me doing soldering and mucking about At this point I decide I better check that the uh, voltage on the two batteries are pretty close. If not I'd have charged them up individually but they're okay so good to carry on. If you remember the drill video, I'll put a link up there. This is the uh, battery box that I emptied out. This is the uh, the battery terminals, and uh, what I plan to do. Is uh, just fit these. They don't hold themselves in position anymore. But uh, fit these wires to them, poke it up here, and then try and work out how to hold it in there. Too boring to watch me solder, so I speeded this one up maybe a bit of music as well.
seems quite good talk. Jobs are good and just need to glue it together. Stop that bit from the uh, contacts from falling back with a bit of glue. And uh, that only leaves part three. I do one which will be the um, modifying the charger to charge the lithium battery. So if you like what you've seen, you know, please subscribe, hit the notification button so you get notified of my re video releases. And uh, as I say, I'll catch you on the next one.